Good evening, fifth graders. Tonight we're working a little more with exponents, exponential notation for the powers of 10. Let's take a look at some superpowers here. We got some Superman, we got some Batman. Um, standard notation, products of 10, and exponential notation. Here's a nice little table for you. And some things I want you to keep in mind, it, it's easy, okay? Just watch here. 10 to the first power right here. Because it has 1 as an exponent, the product is 10. We have 1, 0 in the answer. If we have 2, 10 to the um, second power, that means I have two zeros right here. Okay. As long as the problem that we're working with right here has no decimals in it, okay, this exponent will tell us how many zeros should be in the problem, especially when we're dealing with 10 to that power. So you can kind of see here, 10 to the ninth power is 1 billion down here. Now, keep this in mind. Standard notation is our answer. Exponential notation is with the exponent. Product is our answer. Let's keep going. Okay. 10 to the second power. Standard notation, which means I would have a 1 here. How many zeros do I have? I have two zeros. Number word notation. My number is 1. My word is 100. another one. 10 to the fourth power. Standard notation. I have a one. How many zeros? I have four zeros. Count three spots. Put a comma. So I have 10,000. Number word. I have the number 10. And I have thousand. There's another one. 10 to the ninth power. The number one. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Comma, comma, comma. Okay. This gives me one billion. My number word would be one billion. Now, now it gets a little trickier here. A lot of times kids want to give me 30 for an answer here. That's not correct. In this case right here, I have a 3, because 3 times 1 is 3. How many zeros do I have? I have two zeros here, so it's 300. Number word, 300. It's that easy, kids. Here's another one here. We're almost done. 6, because 6 times 1 is 6. How many zeros do I have? I have five zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 600,000. Six hundred thousand. I have a seven because seven times one is seven. Have five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. This one is seven hundred thousand. Kind of like the last one. That's all of them. One thing just to keep in mind today is when we're doing this, we are multiplying. And don't get stuck adding. Keep this in mind. Standard notation, number word notation. This video made sense. It's nice and short, nice and easy. Tomorrow's assignment's going to be a breeze in class. Hopefully this helped kids. Please refer to this tomorrow in class if you need a little refresher. Other than that, I look forward to working with you in class tomorrow.